let's make this extremely simple. Uh, there's a lot of confusion about prostate. There's a lot of mumbo jumbo. Let's make this very, very, very simple. This is a prostate. The prostate is chiefly glandular, making secretions uh, for the sperm. Towards the edge of a prostate, you have connective tissue, or so-called capsule, surrounded by looser connective tissue, which will also contain a lot of blood vessels and nerves as well. Notice that even though some of these glands are within the capsule, that's normal. It doesn't mean that they're infiltrating uh, malignant glands from carcinoma of the prostate. Uh, this is probably the most classical and normal and non-scary prostate you'll ever see because even though the glands, you know, like trees in the forest, are growing every which way and irregularly and sometimes forming almost little papillary structures and sometimes their secretions can uh, look a little bit uh, calcified in which they're called concretions, but we don't have too many concretions in this one, but sometimes this um, secretion material can uh, harden and calcify uh, and even look like a little geode that you cut through. In this case, most of it is this proteinaceous material that was stained. Uh, towards the edge of the prostate, there's various zones of the prostate which all have nice Latin names and everything. But let's just uh, forget that and say here is the outer part of the prostate, which has more uh, connective tissue. There's some smooth muscle. And then there's the looser connective tissue of the capsule in which you'll see blood vessels and nerves. The reason why it's very, very important to identify nerves is because if you see a little group of perfect little glands living on the little outside of this nerve, you can say, even if that gland looks perfectly normal, you could say it's probably an invasion from a prostate cancer. Uh, that looks like there's a little bit of smooth muscle there. That looks like a vein to me. This could very easily be perhaps some skeletal muscle fibers. Sure enough, here's some skeletal muscle fibers. Here's some smooth muscle fibers. Here's the smooth muscle of a blood vessel. There's a couple endothelial cells. Here are some nice prostate glands, which don't look too juicy. But here's some nice prostate glands, which look very juicy. And uh, the thing I want you to remember from the point of view of histology is that no matter how juicy and irregular these glands are growing, remember two things. They're always separated from adjacent glands by a thin rim of connective tissue. And the vast majority of these nuclei do not have nucleoli. This is crucially important because when you start to see a lot of nucleoli within the nuclei, more than just a couple percent, and or you see glands uh, growing back to back with no fibrous tissue in between, that's when you start to get worried it's cancer. Here's some smooth muscle. Here's some more glands. Here's probably some smooth muscle cut along a uh, cross section. Here's probably some smooth muscle cut longitudinally. Here's probably some fibrous cut on cross section again. Here we are coming up closer to what may very well be uh, the capsule. Here's a vein, here's a vein, here's a vein. There's probably a little artery, there's a vein. There's some loose connective tissue. Here's a big vein. And uh, just for old time's sake, let's find what pathologists love to find in the prostate, which are nerves. You know this is smooth muscle here though, don't you? Let's find a nice little nerve. There's some small blood vessels. There's some fat. There's some loose connective tissue. Here's a nerve, and it's a nice nerve of wavy cells, most of these nuclei being Schwann cells, and most of this feathered stuff being myelin of the Schwann cells. You're probably not going to be lucky enough to see actual axons. But you see this little space, or at least a potential space, which all nerves have before you get to the connective tissue that encases it? This is where you might expect to find some glands uh, if there was an invasion from a prostate cancer. So even if there were some perfectly normal looking glands in this space, you could diagnose cancer simply because glands should not grow around nerves. 
unless they are spreads of glandular cancers. Uh, I don't want to say anything more about this slide. We've said and identified everything we could possibly identify. I feel like we did a very, very good job. And take a quick mental picture of your world's most classical prostate tissue. And I thank you very much.